All right, guys, so I got the GPS set to uh, an abandoned industrial park in Linfield, Pennsylvania. Um, we've been here. It was literally like probably like my seventh video I've ever made on this channel. It was like when I was like 13 years old or something. And I don't know who's been here, but if you were here and you remember, um, I tried to climb this like tower with a ladder on it. And I got like maybe a third of the way up and then decided to dip. Um, today, we're going to go back there, explore it again and possibly climb that whole tower. So stay tuned for that. And yeah. All right, guys, so we pulled up to the freaking, uh, we just parked in some neighborhood, uh, and we got to walk a little bit with Doug out here, and we're just going to walk along the street and try and find the entrance. It's been like three years since I've been here. First of all, I locked the car. All right, and then um, I don't I don't know, like, I don't even remember exactly how to get in, but he said he saw no no trespassing signs. So it's not illegal. <laughs> yeah, not illegal. This is legal stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and get in now, and then I'll show you guys all the buildings uh, now that I three years later with a better camera and like <laughs> 20 times the subscribers and stuff so let's get it right in through the woods we had to walk through like a bunch of freaking whatever just check your legs now for ticks i think we're i think we're in um just gonna walk around until we find something <laughs> yeah pretty much and and not only yeah not only that but there's no there's no sign so if a cop sees us we could just say we walked into the forest didn't see any signs we saw something on google maps wanted to check it out i don't know if you guys remember this but i just watched the video yesterday of the last time we were here and we literally walked through that and it said like last time it had way more signs it had like a bunch of no trespassing yeah. signs it's graffiti tons of buildings as you guys probably remember, you got this big tower with a ladder, but I don't know if we're going to climb that. I mean, that's not the one that I remembered. The one I remembered is like back in this corner. And I remember thinking like when I got there, I was like, oh, I'm going to climb this. And then I climbed like not even halfway, probably a little bit less than half of it. And then just climbed down. If you guys remember, this was like completely just like cut. There was no plants here. So. Now you have to kind of walk through plants. I tried to climb it with my camcorder last time. I have a vlog of me like halfway up the ladder. There's like a little trail that somebody tried to walk through, I think. Gonna have to toughen through all these prickly bushes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is all just ferns. All right. That's the ladder literally right there. It's kind of difficult here though. This is all ferns, this is nice. Smooth. There it is. Got to the bottom of the ladder somehow. I think I'm gonna leave the camera down here, take my phone up, and yeah. Dude, it gets really like viney up here, but I didn't drive out here for nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, there it goes into the abyss. Try to get some more footage, but it'll be hard. It's kind of hard to see him. At least he's wearing a white shirt. Bad. Is it bad? Yeah. Do you get up or not? Drink, think deeply as I sink. I found peace in the dark of night. Tabletops, counters in the early hours. Stone cold inside. Banging drops, dancers, never needing answers. We wander all alone, but we can't buy the street lights go. We wander all alone, but we can't deny we are the street light people. That was by far the most scary thing I've ever done in my entire life. I just kept going one rung at a time until I got to the top of this thing. In the 
Dude, I, I, I was telling them up there on my phone, I've done a lot of crazy stuff, I, and like, I've been so scared to jump off like an 80 foot cliff, but every time I watch a video on somebody climbing something, like adrenaline addiction or something, it's like, it doesn't look nearly as scary as like it is. Like, that was probably the scary, scariest thing I've ever done. Like, once I was at like, right at the top where it opens up, the, the sun's really bright, but right where it opens up at the top, after all the plants, you're just looking down like a hundred feet and if any of the rungs like all I could think about is what if one of the rungs are too rusty what if the like oh my god dude just so many thoughts run through your head that like something's wrong and if it breaks you just die like it's just like so quick to death but I did it I, I, I probably would have been there to catch you though <laughs> yeah that would have helped <laughs> um, oh my god dude that was cool safe on flat ground and I'm alive somehow I wonder what it would have looked like from back here just seeing someone climbing that like all the way up there oh my god dude I just put mind in front of everything I just kept telling myself that like I'm only a couple feet up and then I just keep going and like tried not to like look down at the ground hundreds a hundred feet below or 200 feet below um because that's when my legs would start shaking and that's when it feels 10 times harder to get up a rung because your legs are shaking. Basically the reason I do that and the reason anyone else would do that, it's not just pure stupidity. It really does, it's, it's crazy when you put your mind into something over everything else, over like everything else, you just keep telling yourself to keep going. Um, it's a huge like uh, mental block. I always wanted to climb a tower like that and that's a good starter tower anyway. Uh, we're gonna try and explore a little bit now and we might even go cliff jumping. Oh wait, 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 there's a rope. I was gonna say we can use that, but there's like a little rope there. Pull it really hard, is it like tight? You can probably climb that, right? <laughs> Trying to get into this abandoned building now. Is it cool? Yeah. I'll come up. It's pretty, pretty open. So, this is one out of like obviously the many buildings um, as you saw, we had to climb there. I'm on my phone now. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure most of them look pretty similar. It was just an industrial park that got abandoned years ago. Yeah, it smells like it smells like burnt rubber. Oh yeah. This is ash. It's all burnt. I wonder how long it I know. No, this place has been abandoned for years. We were here three years ago. This is not here though. I think someone set fire and that shit is crazy in there. Yeah. Alright, so there's literally as you can see just tons of tons of bottles. And they're all antifreeze. I tried to find a date on some of them, but I can't find anything. But they're just literally all over. All right, so we open this door on the very, very top. We're on the roof now. It's water that all the water's leaking from. Yeah, from all the freaking rain we've been getting. This one should stable. I mean, it has that water on it. We can Just get down on the wall first. Don't touch the rope until you're holding on to the wall. Yeet. I was just telling Doug, and like I remember I mentioned it in my last video, but the last like, <clears throat> like each of the ladders are in sections of like 15 feet, and there's just tons of them. So that's another thing. Every time I got to a new like set, I would always think like, what if this one's not like built in or is rusted out? So that's that was always scary. But the last one, like which was like the last 15 feet, was like inverted to get to the rail, so it wasn't like insane. Like I didn't have to climb with just my hands or anything, but it was like inverted, so I was like leaning back, trying to keep my feet on the thing, and. 
uh, I don't know, dude, I don't even remember if I mentioned about like my phone. I was like legitimately about to just throw my phone down. Like I had no idea what I was about to do. I was just shaking up there. So I just put my phone on the ground, got back on the ladder because I had to like step over a railing 150 feet to death. <laughs> um, and then I got to the ladder, started climbing down a little bit, reached my hand up, grabbed my phone, and then with one hand put it in my pocket on this inverted ladder. <laughs> so crazy ass day. Um, so you ought to climb that one. <laughs> that one's possibly higher. And then, yeah, we're probably going to head over to Black Rock Trestle, which I already filmed the pogo stick video at. And I filmed there a few times last year, the cliff jumping and thunderstorm. Uh, so you guys you guys should know Black Rock. Um, it's honestly one of my favorite spots because it's just one of those spots you can just throw down. And it's not really, like, scary if you flop. It hurts a tiny bit, but it's not, like, anything too scary. 30 feet. Um, so we're probably going to head over there uh, if it's close. So there's just, like, more ruins and stuff. Um, and... Obviously, it's just tons of buildings, another tower. Um, we're heading out, that's where you get out. So overall, it's like, I don't even know, probably 15, 20 acres or something like that. I mean, we didn't even check, there's like a whole nother line, but it seems like every year it gets kind of like harder to explore because they cover everything up even more. And last time we were here, there was none of those plants in like any of the areas. To get into any of the buildings, you have to bushwhack. Even to get to the tower, I had to bushwhack. Um, so, I mean, they're all pretty similar. We got into the one, which was sick. Safe at the car. Surprised we didn't get anything called on us. No cops. It's back in here. Let's go. That's all right, guys. Park the car at the new destination, which is Black Rock. Uh, I remember you guys saw me doing, like, pogo stick tricks here, and then we took it off the bridge. Um, but you walk down there. There's a little trail. And then the bridge is just right down there. And, yeah, send the little 30-foot bridge for a bit. While well, we have time. We're here at Black Rock. Doug's first time. I've been here a few times, obviously. Um, that's where you get out, right here. On those rocks. It's like, yeah, it's a bit of a climb. But uh, it's like probably 25 feet since the rain probably filled it. It doesn't look higher than 30. So, I mean, maybe 25 from the top, 20 from the bottom. Uh, we're not out here sending crazy triples today, but we'll do some, some fun, cool stuff just to kind of end the day. Uh, I also ran seven miles this morning. Uh, training for cross country season and that kills like I'm sore from that but there's the bridge we're gonna go send that and yeah all right guys I'm gonna send quick brandy um, and I'll just film a little edit here cuz I don't feel like vlogging that much so just a little edit just some chill stuff so yeah let's send this bridge you recording uh, is the mic on yeah yeah we're good then red dot yeah all right then Three, two, the seasons one. come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change, but in a cycle that I can't lose. Each painful but delightful to live through.
All right, guys, there it is. That's the end of this video. Um, I'm just pulling into my house uh, in a couple minutes here. Um, we went to Black Rock Trestle and met up with uh, Vince on the way out. Uh, we were leaving and then Vince, who uh, cliff jumped with him a lot. I loved cliff jumping with him. He's just always motivated and always pushing me. Uh, he was walking in when we were walking out and he was like, you gotta come back down. I'm like, all right. Went down, sent uh, those, I sent the full in. You guys saw um, the aftermath of that climb. Like in terms of, uh, like not the uh, climb, but like all the bushwhacking we did. I just have tons of cuts. I know you could probably see the thighs. Uh, and then on my legs, just cuts on cuts. Um, just all from r running through those prickly bushes and stuff. Um, I just want to make mention that like, even me who uh, works out and like has good strength, good upper body and grip strength, um, I my grip strength just from like 250 rungs up and then all the way down, it just hurt to hold those rungs that hard. Like the grip strength, I mean, my grip strength isn't amazing like it used to be from like the Spartan races I did, but I still have good strength and everything. But it was hard to hold on to that stuff. Um, but I made it down. I made it up. A uh, big mental block. Uh, I think my, I think overall my mind just developed like more during stuff like that. Uh, it just grows and stuff. It's crazy. Um, my arms were shot when I got to the bottom. Uh, just from that little climb, it's just so scary. Like it's so scary to tr that last little bit looking down 150 feet and just uh, just your legs shaking. Um, but we're here. We did it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate all you guys. Um, I know this is a crazy video, so you better drop a like after all that. Follow all my social medias that are up on the screen right here. And other than that, guys, uh, videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, posting three times a week. Um, so let's see what we can do. Gonna continue posting. And <sighs> thank you guys for being here. Peace out. guys so just on the last one I just did um on the last one I just did I did a double gainer but unfortunately footage got lost and I'm not trying that shit again kind of up a little bit land on my neck but um I guess Kyle's gonna do his thing now All right.